I'm just going to spend a couple of minutes talking about this actual workshop. And after listening to what you said that you hope to get out of this workshop, um, I'm going to share a few things that we were thinking about as well. And hopefully, we are going to be intersecting those. So um, what we're, we're really looking at is um, we've done these workshops in a number of different places around the country. And um, these workshop goals vary slightly from place to place. But some of them are, uh, resonate with people all over. And like this first one is provide the information and tools to teach the courses at your college or university. And I noticed that some of you didn't raise your hands, but you, all, you were kind of like this. And one of the things that we really want to suggest is that we encourage this to be a partnership so that those master teachers will, in fact, help college professors to teach this course. Or those informal educators who are working out in the field will help share their knowledge with um, other faculty and so forth to work together to share their expertise and to bring their inspiration and their expertise together. Um, our second goal here is to provide a research-based strategies to communicate with the public about the essential ideas of ocean sciences. So the public just could be a lot of different things, right? The public could be the public who comes to visit the Waikiki Aquarium. The public could be your students who then go out and share their knowledge with the public either in a free choice environment or someday when they are a scientist, perhaps faculty, sharing the information as well. Um, and lastly, this one is particular for Hawaii, which is provide input to adapt the course to include traditional knowledge of the ocean and about both content and also about the process of sharing that in a traditional knowledge fashion. So those are our three big goals for over these two days. And um, if we could catch the lights real quick. Uh, I just wanted to do a, a really quick walkthrough of the agenda so you'll know where we're going. And um, so if you have some questions and some concerns or something, you'll see that maybe there's a spot for that. But whether there is or not, please feel comfortable of sharing, asking questions at any time. Um, so what we're going to do as soon as um, Craig and I stop talking, at you here soon, will be um, the, uh, one of the first course sessions. And it's um, called The Nature and Practice of Science. So we're actually going to take you through portions of that course, uh, that course session. And um, over the two days, we're going to take you through four course sessions. And there are some that we're not going to get to in much detail, but we will describe them to you as well. Mostly, we want to do those course sessions that have all the pieces in a fashion that we can really communicate with you all the different types of things that we have the students do. Um, and some of the course sessions are not so amenable to do in a situation like this. And I'll get to that a little bit more later. So we're going to do the nature and practice of science. And after we do each of these sessions, we're going to have the opportunity to talk about what would you like to add to that as far as um, for Hawaii, for traditional knowledge inclusions? Okay, so we'll have some opportunity to be able to talk about that. Um, then we have lunch. And then um, we're going to do a second. Um, it's, it's actually just the third session in the whole course, and it's called Teaching and Learning. And we're going to take you through some of those, those actual sessions as well. And in this one in particular, you'll be able to see that there is an adult learning experience in each of the sessions. And what that means is not like X-rated, like adult learning experience. Um, but what it means is it's something that perhaps might be on the edge of your content knowledge. Something that you might have to work a little bit harder for to dredge up some ideas, some content, or something. So that what's happening is you are really being put in the place of the learner so that we can talk about what did that feel like. Okay? And then also talk about the kind of teaching that was going on and what did that feel like. OK? 
Okay, so that's what the teaching and learning is about. And then late this afternoon, we're going to give you even more specific information. And we thought uh, about the courses, and we thought at that time is when we would actually distribute the course materials. Um, I'm not sure how many of you are totally convinced that I'm going to teach the one for informal audiences, or I'm really interested in the one for formal K-8, K-12 sorts of audiences. So we wanted to provide a little bit more information so that you can really make that choice uh, based on more knowledge than you might have coming in here. Um, I'd really love to do just a really quick show of hands, though. How many of you are pretty sure you'd like to teach the formal version of this? Which means your students taking the course will be placed for their practicum in an elementary or a middle school. Okay, Just raise your hand if you think that's what resonates with you. Okay, All right. How many did you get? Okay. All right, raise your hand if you think you really would like to do the informal version where they go into aquariums, museums, Kaneohe Bay, wherever, Hanama Bay, that sort of thing. So raise your hand. Judy's counting. Oh, don't count me. So we're just making sure that we have enough of those materials in the back. If not, we'll get you one. Yes? Because I feel we're both vaccinated. Okay. Raise your hand if you're confused and you really don't know yet. All right. I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me that everyone doesn't, you know, it's like, well, I don't know. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to provide more information, talk about what are the differences between the two courses. Where do they intersect? Where are they vastly different? How could you, inter you know, use one instead of the other one sort of thing? So we'll give you information about that. It's a very good question. Okay. Um, then tomorrow we are doing two more course sessions, um, Blank Slates or Clever Minds, which is actually about constructivism, and then one on questioning strategies. And in both cases, again, we're going to spend some time talking about traditional knowledge there. Um, and then we'll briefly talk about what did we miss, what didn't we get to, the other course sessions. And um, an important part here at the end is um, partner breakout groups. How many of you actually came with someone you hope to be co-teaching this with? Anybody come with somebody with a partner? Oh, <laughs> Kanisa looked a little worried when Judy didn't raise her hand. So, um, okay, good. All right, that's great. So we will have some some breakouts. And if you didn't come with a partner, don't worry. Um, we will put you with a like partner, or we'll sit with you and we'll figure it out.